Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny, if you're new here, welcome. And welcome to Christmas in July 2024. Today I'm going to show you how I dress up some of my drink mixes for gift giving ideas. Also, Christmas in July 2024 is a collab with several channels. I will post the schedule in the description box below for you as well as the playlist and I will also put a link to my recipes in the description box for you. So I hope you enjoy Christmas in July 2024 and get some great ideas. I can't wait to see what everybody is making. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, so yesterday I filmed how to make these drink mixes for you and for some reason the footage is missing so this is for Russian tea if you this is this is everything it just my recipe makes a half pint jar sized but if you wanted to give this as gifts you could put it in a four ounce jar you could include tea bags and dried orange slices um, from your dehydrator or you can dry them in the oven but orange wheels these unfortunately my camera either didn't record or lost the footage of me mixing these up but I do have them available for you on my website so Russian tea mix it's granulated sugar cinnamon nutmeg um, my homemade lemon powder this one is mulling mix. Um, again, my camera didn't record any of this. So this is brown sugar, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, just mixed together and I'm keeping it in a jar. This way you can add a teaspoonful to your hot apple cider or hot red wine. You could put this in a four ounce jar and include this include little wooden scoops these are teaspoons um, I bought a package of them you can get them from Amazon you can get them from Timu you can get them from Shein you can get them from kitchen stores they're available everywhere but this would be cute to either keep inside or tie with a little ribbon around the outside but this if you wanted to give a housewarming gift or a Christmas gift you could do a bottle of red wine and a four ounce jar of the mulling spices. I've just put it in a jar for everybody to use. So I um, unfortunately, like I said, I lost mixing these up, but the recipes are available for you. And this one is instant eggnog mix. So this is dry milk powder, instant vanilla pudding mix, and then I added a slight bit more of vanilla powder, which is optional. If it's not vanilla enough for you, I just really like the vanilla flavor. And nutmeg. So the pudding mix replaces the eggs. But this is really good. The, and then you would put a tablespoon into a cup of cold water. And whip it up good. So instant eggnog mix. You can give also as a gift. Um, second part here, what I wanted to show you is... This one is just a mold cider jelly, but if you wanted to give this as a gift. How I like to dress these up. I cut circles of Christmas fabric. These are sorry wrinkles. You can use some fiber fill if you have it. If you don't, you can just use a couple of cotton balls. Um, sometimes I like to put a little dab of glue there. Of course, you'd want to straighten them out and make sure they're a little better than that, but they look so cute with the fabric on there and then <clears throat> you can pick a ribbon you can glue it around the outside and tie a bow you don't have to glue it it will stay um, but if you wanted to tie in a little wooden spoon on the side also for tags to, to say what these are I like to save all my Christmas cards from previous years then you can cut them into shapes of ornaments and on the back of it, so you can you cut out the pattern part, and then on the back of it, it should be blank. Then you can write what it is and how to use it. So 
mulling or Russian Russian tea mulling spice, you would put add one teaspoon to one cup of hot apple cider or hot red wine. This one you would say add one tablespoon to a cup of cold water, you know, or more it's basic directions, adjustable. And then this is the Russian tea. So you would have a cup of hot water, add your tea bag, add a teaspoon of the spice, the mo or the Russian tea mix, and then add your dried orange wheat. So you would do that and then you could punch a hole in it and use ribbon or also um, raffia works well for that. Anything you want really. Twine and tie it around with the directions and then in the um, name of what it is. And that is how I dress them up for gift giving. These are great to go in baskets. So if you want to do a little basket, put a little jelly or jam in there. And then mulling spices, uh, tea mix. You could do, this is, like I said, the Russian tea mix. So you could give a little thing of tea bags and also a little package of dried orange wheels or your eggnog and you could just dress it up. If you're not big on vanilla, you can use um, white chocolate instant pudding mix for this as well. This is so yummy though. This also has sugar in it. So if you wanted to use sugar-free pudding and use like a, sh a sugar substitute such as Swerve, you could do that if you want to keep it sugar free. So that is how you dress them up. I'm sorry I lost the footage of just whisking those dry mixes together. I have no idea what happened. I was coming back from the Great Wolf Lodge yesterday, filmed this really quick, and um, yeah, it's gone. If I find it, I'll put it up later, which I doubt. I don't think it recorded for some odd reason. Not a great first start, I understand. But Here's to dressing up your jars, right? Again, you can use cotton balls. I wouldn't run out and purchase fiber fill. Here are some wedding favors I made for my son's wedding, and they were champagne berry jams, but I put the fabric on there, and they were so cute. Okay, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. I will put these recipes in the re these recipe links in the description box below for you. Also, I will put the schedule of everybody, all of the YouTube channels participating in the collab, as well as the playlist. And I will also put some other drink mix recipes in the links below for you um, for gift giving ideas. It's nice to get them done here in July so that you're not scrambling to do everything in December. That is why we start our Christmas prep a little early. Don't forget to check out all the other channels and see what they're making. I can't wait to see what everybody's making. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.